Now, in some of the earlier videos, we saw formation of images in the plane mirror. Okay, but I mean, while we did not discuss this specifically, how about the position of the image? So, in that case, please note that let's say you have an object A, B, which is there in front of the plane, plane mirror. And let's say the image of AB is formed as A dash B dash. Okay. Then the point that needs to be noted is that the distance D1, which is there between the actual object and the mirror, mirror means the plane mirror, let's call it as D1. And the distance between the mirror and image, and this is the distance between mirror and object, both these distances are equal. So D1 is always equal to D2. So while I was preparing all those draft or rather the images, the explanations and all in form of charts at various distances like just like in this case also if you see D1 actually seems to be greater than D2. But practically when you use regular compass and all, regular scales and everything, then whatever is the distance between the mirror and the object is always equal to the distance between the mirror and the image. So let's say you were told if the distance between object and its image is 16 centimeter. How far is the object from mirror? Now you are told that if the distance between the object which is this and its image which is this is 16 centimeter. So you are told that D1 plus D2 is equal to 16 centimeter. Okay. And you are told to find out how far is the object from the mirror. So we need to find out the value of T1. Now you know that D2 is equal to D1. So you can write this equation as D1 plus D1 is equal to 16 centimeter or 2 times D1 is equal to 16 centimeter. Therefore, T1 is equal to 16 by 2 or 8 centimeter. So practically you can also apply this knowledge to calculate the distance between these two things. Okay.